Special beans. And smash. Something I learned from the Koreans is that you can get delicious food from restaurants that are at the back of supermarkets. Seeing the stone stew restaurant hidden in the back of a Mediterranean food market got me really excited. Welcome to another episode of M Plus Bites. Today we're at Stone Stew restaurant in Santa Clara. And um, I'm really excited to try one of their signature dishes, which involves a stone um, pot where they actually mash a few ingredients together and cook it on the table for you. So let's check it out. Can you eat this also or do you just keep with the bread? With the bread yeah, also? Put the bread inside and then you're gonna put the bread to the oh. In there, okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So I think you're just making the bottle of this and then dip it in that. I guess so. This guy apparently comes here pretty often. And also he's single by the way guys. So hashtag single. <laughs> this guy, we don't care about him, but this guy's single too. <laughs> Alright, here's how we're trying to do this. That's some broth. You take a bread and you try some of this directly or you try it with the sauce. I think you can dip a little here and then like grab some of the spoon maybe and together. How do you guys like it? Mm. You're a fan? It's pretty good. <laughs> hey, Mukhari. Yeah. Adnan, what do you guys think? Uh, it's delicious. It's very good. You can actually. Like worth the wait or? Um, I mean, yeah. we didn't wait that long. Really <laughs> yeah, we didn't wait it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you guys waited in a cafe for like. <laughs> it's definitely different though. Okay, it's something you'd order again or? Um, yeah. Yeah. The sauce is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the stone stew first. Uh, finally, the sauce is really good. I'm yeah. really excited about it. What is it? This bread is amazing. I don't know if you make this in house, but. <laughs> What's amazing is the fact that you can actually see the um, the layer of oil on top, which is basically the fat from the probably the lamb shoulder that they cook, and it's great. So you can actually taste the some of the fat from the meat uh, rendered into the, the the sauce itself. So that's uh, I took some of the meat with the uh, with the mash that Amir actually did, and uh, with some of the sauce. Um, the thing I love is that the garbanzo beans, the white beans, everything like works perfectly. Especially with the potatoes and the tomato. And when you have the, the meat and the fat that comes from the meat when it's put in that sauce, absolutely delicious. So if you're coming to Stone Stew restaurant, obviously get the Stone Stew. And that's like a no-brainer. When I came here with Amir, apparently he's been here a couple of times because he's smarter than we are. That's the thing um, about the authentic cultural food. They, I mean, when you say they, are, they go to, good together, yeah. they have been tested for like hundreds of years, man. <laughs> they do go together. <laughs> yeah. I, I totally agree with them, honestly. It's, this is, yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely happy that Mufariz and Adan get to try this with me. Um, yes, how do you have the noodles? <laughs> Oh, this is the beef and lamb and that's lamb chops. Oh, who do you put down as your emergency contact? <laughs> you. Uh, so, so next thing I'm going to try is the actual chops. So these chops look fantastic. Uh, I'm ignoring Mukhari's right now. He's talking about something about moving to San Francisco. Nobody really cares about that. So, so, so these are the... 
<laughs> these are the the lamb chops that you get honestly any self respecting persian restaurant is going to do their meat right this is no different the stones too was a very good indicator that they know what they're doing and this has been cooked to perfection it's like i say medium rare and this is exactly how you want your meat it's not burnt it's got a little bit of charring on top but it's very subtle flavors and the meat is the main part of the whole thing which is great the smart thing that that um, the people that I ordered the food with did was they substituted the rice they actually got a different kind of rice instead of getting the plain white rice that you get or the the rice with the 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 yellow flavoring on top so they actually got the uh, the Tehran Majlisi chicken rice so it's it's got like berberries and all that in the rice itself and uh, Honestly, that's another adds another depth of flavor. So when I say Burberry's, I'm talking about uh, these beans right here. I don't know if you can see them. And uh, it is an acquired taste. So if you ever have like Afghani pulao or anything like that, it's similar. But the the Burberry's have like this sour aftertaste. And if you're not expecting that, it's something that you need to need to know that's coming. So there's a beef and lamb kebab in this. Yeah, no, I just think. Also, I like that they grilled the tomato very well. I like a well grilled I, I tomato. I actually want you to say that on camera. If you're okay with that. <laughs> Somebody calls. I don't know that guy. <laughs> kebabs that I'd recommend you try out is the Kirman Sultani kebabs that has the. Kubide kebab, which is the ground beef, which is the one I absolutely love. It's amazing. And then they have the the skewered lamb uh, fillet, uh, which is also pretty good. <laughs> Fantastic, man. Those kebabs are probably my top five of the best kebabs I've had in the U.S. Easy. This one is probably probably the best one I've had so far. It's ridiculous. I'm, I won't say I'm speechless, but this is this is really good food. I'm genuinely glad that I I'm, I'm going to try this. So if you're in Santa Clara uh, or you're coming to San Francisco, come to Stone's Two Restaurant. Everything is halal here. They do serve um, a drink that may be considered alcoholic, so be wary of that. Is it alcohol? Wine. Oh, they do serve wine? I thought it was like uh, BYOB, right? Yeah. So, they, they do serve alcohol from what I understand, but um, all the meats and everything are halal. I, I had them verbally confirm that. But definitely try the stale stones too. Definitely try those kebabs that I talked about. Um, the lamb chops are great, but if you can only have like two dishes, get the stones too, get the kebabs. Don't even worry about it. Um, the rice, honestly, the normal rice is fine. If you're okay with having the bitter aftertaste of the Burberry's, Burberry's are a good option too. Um, yeah, and uh, Amir mentioned something pretty interesting. What were you saying about the tomatoes, man? Mm -hmm. So the tomatoes, I like when they're grilled well. When they got enough fire and they're kind of dried, and I love them, love them with salt. That's my favorite since I was a kid. And many restaurants don't know how to do it, but so like they burn it or what? No, they undercook it. It's just like a, a raw tomato. Huh. But this is really grilled. Well. I don't know if you can show it. Let me show this one. You can see like yeah. it's like done. Oh, it's like dry. You see the burn. They treat it well, just like how they treat the meat. Yeah. Yeah. I think they got the temperature right. I, I totally agree with this. Yeah. What do you guys think? Good food. Actually, the meat. I think it'll pick out. What do you both think, guys? Good. Thumbs up. Alright, cool. Definitely good. Bring a, bring a date, I guess. Next time. No, you can, you, you can feel it. Okay. <laughs> the professional is focused. Alright. Look at, look at his face, man. He's, he's like, happy. he knows what he's doing. I'm happy. 